Hey yogis, Lauren here from Yoga Academy International. And today I wanna to take you through an awesome mindfulness slash meditation practice and a little how-to on how to draw mandalas. What? Yeah, mandalas. Mandalas can be a form of meditation and it's definitely a form of mindfulness. Meditation has been around for millennia. It's an amazing way to release yourself from stress, let yourself have a break from your everyday thought patterns, and allow your brain and mind to learn to escape those thoughts that we get stuck in, the swirling around. We call it the monkey mind. The thoughts of to-do lists. You know where your mind goes when you're dwelling on something. Meditation gives you a break. It allows thoughts to kind of flow more freely. It allows us to break free of our everyday patterns of the mind. It allows us to live in a more peaceful, stress-free, relaxed state of being. Meditation also helps improve memory. It helps improve overall happiness. It helps improve relationships. It's incredible. It will definitely help you cultivate and enhance your personal self-awareness. It's just amazing. There's no reason why you should not be meditating. Maybe you aren't meditating because you haven't found a particular meditation practice that suits you. Often when we think about meditation, we think about somebody like sitting with their eyes closed, um, you know, in a lotus position and their hands like this. And that's not always accessible for everyone. You can go on a walking meditation. Listening to music can be a meditation. Even just closing your eyes and listening to the sound of your breath can be a meditation. By focusing on one thing, we give our brains a break from everything else. It's just a way to bring more peace and joy and equanimity into your life. So today I'm gonna to give you a tutorial on how to draw mandalas. Spoiler alert, we do mandala drawing in every single one of our teacher trainings at Yoga Academy International. Why? Because there's so many different ways to meditate and there's so many different mindfulness practices out there. So we wanna introduce our yogis to as many as possible. Let's get to it. Tutorial on meditation. Mandala meditation. Drawing mandalas <laughs> meditation. Drawing mandalas for your meditation. We're gonna draw mandalas for meditation. Okay, so for this you will need paper, a pencil, pen, or marker, a uh, protractor, is this the compass or the protractor? The circle drawing geometrical thing? And a ruler is very helpful or any straight edge. You also don't have to use the circle drawing thing. Um, anything that will draw a circle for you is helpful. You can use like a cup or a plate or something. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, we're going to make a guide or guidelines for our mandala. So to start, take your circle drawer and start with drawing a small circle at the center of your page. I find the easiest thing to do is swivel the paper. Now it's a good thing to do this in pencil because then you can always erase it after. There we go. Then make a bigger circle around it, try to Start from the same center point so the circles will be concentric and geometrically even. So the whole thing about a mandala is it's like a sacred geometry. And let's make another bigger circle. So sacred geometry can be found like everywhere in nature. Oops. You can find it in leaves and trees and flowers like a rose or chrysanthemum. These are all mandalas. They're all sacred geometry. So once you have your center circle, then we're going to make kind of a web. It's a good idea to have a pencil, I forgot to say that in the what you need list, um, because then you can erase the lines after. So I'm going to take my pencil and draw a line straight through the center of these circles if I can. That looks about even. Actually, a much easier way to do this is to <laughs> line up the center of your page with your ruler, because then you can see the 90 degree angle. With the page. There we go. Then go the other way. Then two more. Now the more even this is, the nicer your mandala will look. If you're super perfectionista, you can use 
one of those triangle angle things. What are those things called? The angle things, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we have this kind of web looking device and we can start drawing our mandala. So basically you just start from the center and you do the same shape all the way around. It can be any shape that you want. And we draw it in each little piece, starting from the center. Um, maybe I'll draw, I usually end up drawing little surfboards. <laughs> so I'll draw little surfboards. Now, the cool thing about mandalas is the more intricate they are, the better they look. So I'm gonna make a little surfboard in every high piece I have here. Boom. So it's already starting to look nice. And then you just want to work from the center and build outwards whatever you want. And I highly recommend putting on just like some beautiful inspiring music or binaural beats and then just let your mind be taken away. There's no rules to this. You just let it be, let it happen, and see what your subconscious mind will create when you take the pressure off. So basically you just start in the middle and keep working outward and outward and add whatever details you want. Wherever your mind goes, just let it. And it's also a practice of impermanence. So if you're not happy with your mandala, recycle it and try again another time. Um, so this is one that I worked on for a couple days and I love the way it came out. Really just a matter of letting my mind relax, be at peace, putting on some peaceful music and taking some quiet time on my own. So this is a wonderful activity you can do 